What's going on, everybody? Alex Skyvich, Pro to JK, Big Blue in the Bronx, back again. Make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops for you drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Uh, I apologize for lack of content. Obviously, I mentioned it in the Rudolph video. Midterms has been uh, part of the last two weeks of my life. So, uh, just understand that. But I appreciate y'all's support. We got over 300 views. I just looked at it on the 76ers Knicks live stream. Appreciate that. Uh, some positive comments on the rant video. I was trying to come out with that one for a while. I was thinking about, uh, should it come with music, not music, whatever. But, uh, you know, one thing I, I wish definitely for more is that a lot of people should see that video because that's really what we're about on this channel, uh, telling the truth, but also giving you guys a good laugh and uh, good mount, uh, good meltdowns, good meltdowns, because uh, you know that's that's what we do here. It's not for content. It's not for oh, you know, say outrageous things and get seven hundred new subscribers. That's not what we're about here. We're about telling the truth. We're about doing a bunch of other different things, but we're not you know grabbing for subscribers. But I wish there would be more subscribers to this channel. Definitely share if you want to like comment subscribe like I say at the beginning of every video But I appreciate you guys support. I know I've been off the last two weeks But we've been slowly trying to come up with the views again. Uh, try to get you guys uh, Really focused into the content that we're making anyway um, We're gonna do Three blind mock drafts kind of So here's the way we're gonna do why do I call it blind mock drafts because I haven't done a little of my research and I'm like Joe Shane because he said okay we got rounds one through four figured out in Buffalo which means he knows who he's picking one through four uh, but he's got to make a significant list but with that being said a lot of the names past the fourth round I don't know too much about I have know some of the names but not really familiar with how they play the play style stuff like that the scheme fits so if I pick somebody that doesn't fit Martindale's scheme or doesn't really fit what the Giants want to do on offense, I apologize. Um, but let's start drafting. Now, there is a possibility here that Evan Neal actually falls to us. If it happens, I'll try restarting the mock draft twice. And if the second time he does fall to us, I'll restart it again. And then if he falls to us again, then I'll just go with it and select Evan Neal. But uh, I don't think Evan Neal's falling to us. Anyway, let's start it off. So Kayvon Thibodeau, Hutchinson, Booth. Okay, I said what I was going to do. Now watch for the pop-up ads. I, I know. Got to get an ad blocker for this freaking thing. Thibodeau, Hutchinson, Booth. Literally the same thing. It's literally insanity. Doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Three times a freaking charm. Here we go. All right, so fun fact, everybody, fun fact. Um, I'm going to decline this unless I get a really good freaking offer. It's not happening. Anyway, um, I actually did one recording this video already, but the problem is I restarted my draft when I was in the fourth, fifth round. I'm like, shit, so I got to do this all over again. But anyway, um, I'm going to go Ika Mukwanu here. Now, obviously, he does have some finesse issues. He has some, you know, technicality issues. But I think that could be coached up by the New York Giants, and he's going to be on the right side anyway. I think the Giants will be smart in free agency. I do definitely think because right tackle is such a need in this draft within the first couple of picks, right? I think the New York Giants will assess guard and free agency, at least one of them, because you really want to play somebody like Zion Johnson or another rookie like Dylan Parham next to Iki Aquanu so you can have two rookies starting next to each other, that doesn't really make any sense. Unless one is overpowering the other, but Iki has his problems with technicality, but he is just a mauler. I think he probably does good on the right side for the New York Giants. So I really don't need to go into super depth of explaining the pick. Now, very tough situation here. I know how I'm going to go about this. I'm not going to tell you until I just reveal all of the possibilities. So, obviously, for the Malik Willis fans here, he's here. I'm not going to take him. Uh, cornerback, I would not take here. Cornerback, I would not take here. Now, if they do take a cornerback, and I'm trying to combine this with what the Giants could do and what I want to do, kind of. 
Um, I know that's trying to be the most realistic as possible. I would not really be happy with taking a corner in the first round because I think there's so many other needs. I would probably go linebacker over corner. Uh, I feel that, yes, the Giants will probably draft one or two corners, man corners throughout this draft, but it does not need to be done in the first round, please. Um, so my two guys right here, since Kenyon Green is off the board, yeah, Charles Cross, but we don't need another tackle. Um, obviously, Sauce Gardner's here, as I mentioned. Really don't need to, t- need to take a wide receiver, I don't think. Uh, did that last year, hasn't panned out yet. Tyler Linderbaum and George Karloftis. Those are my two guys. Now, um, in terms of the edge group, it's going to be really interesting to see what they do in this draft, if they take one at all, because you really don't need a top edge rusher to fulfill Martindale in his scheme, right? You don't really need it. It's not required. Because Martindale's best guy was Matt Judon in Baltimore. And his best season, I think, was 12 and a half sacks or was nine sacks. And then when he got to New England, he just blew up because they were more about sacks than, than Martindale. Because Martindale has come out and said, look, stats, you know, obviously like sacks, those can be taken. And I'm really more about quarterback pressure consistent pressure on the quarterback just you know basically scaring the shit out of him he didn't say that but anyway um so Carl Loftus is here he plays the RPO well and then you got Tyler Linderbaum now why would you be after Linderbaum in this situation the Giants need interior offensive line badly now we don't know if Nick Gates is coming back Joe Shane would be very smart here To not depend on Nick Gates coming back. You do not depend on that after that type of injury. After the seven surgeries he's had. You don't depend on that at all. That was like, you know, depending on Alex Smith to come back. Washington drafted over him. Haskins, that doesn't need to be explaining again. Because we all know the stories and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, so Linderbaum, obviously, apparently he does have issues a little bit with bull rushing defensive tackles. I'm not too worried about that. I think with the Giants coaching, that can all be solved. But because of the interior offensive line depth and because here you can go best player available, I think I'm going to take George Karloftis. So there's that. I know a lot of people could be mad, could be upset with me, could be happy with me. Charles crossed the Steelers. That's interesting. I mean, I'm not going to say it's bad. So linebacker and wide receiver. That makes sense for the Eagles. Trayvon Walker makes sense for uh, makes sense for the Cardinals, uh, Chandler Jones. And also Patrick Graham gets an edge rusher, which I don't think they really need. But, hey, what do I know, right? So Jahan Dotson goes before the Giants. And let me see if they pick somebody because there is a guy I have a, you know, a thing for. Not anything dirty. Don't get that. Traylon Burks falls to the second round. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Decisions, decisions, decisions. He should not have fallen. Perrion Winfrey. I don't think that he should have fallen either. Um, There is a lot of decisions to make here. There's a lot of things to decide on. So, uh, you have tight end. You have linebacker. You have running back as a possibility. But really the first three I'm looking at are the first three. Traylon Burks, Perrion Winfrey, and Zion Johnson. Now, I believe this wide receiver class in terms of depth is good. right? You can get a Calvin Austin, a Kevin Austin, a Christian Watson, a Sky Moore. There's a lot of guys you could get. The problem is Traylon Burks is a first-round talent and would be an absolute steal for the New York Giants. The problem is that Zion Johnson is likely not moving into the third round. He is going to get picked by the Jets or the Texans or the Bears or the Seahawks. He's going to get picked. Perrion Winfrey. I liked his work. I think it was him, actually. Yeah, the Senior Bowl. Um, I do believe the Giants need another defensive tackle because Danny Shelton, he's gone. Free agency. Dexter Lawrence. Not an answer there. And Austin Johnson's a rotational piece. I don't think that I'm going to pick Winfrey here. 
It's down to Burks and Johnson. Now, a lot of people will say you got to go BPA. You got to go Johnson. Uh, not Johnson here. You got to go Burks. Um, it's really interesting. It's really interesting. I didn't think he would fall. Uh, um, I really like Zion Johnson. I really do. And that's really what's pinning me to the wall against Traylon Burks. Um, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to take Trey on Burks. I mean, see, I, I told you he would get picked, but listen, I know a lot of people could be mad. They'll be like, yeah, you did a good job. Blind mock draft for a reason. Decisions, decisions, decisions. See who we got in the third round. I think it's 67 overall. So we're going to be one of the first picks. I think that's the Bears pick or it's a Dolphins pick of some sort. So we're not accepting this. The Browns suck. Interesting set of circumstances here. Interesting set of circumstances. Um, Cornerback is definitely an option here. Linebacker is definitely an option. Chad Muma led the nation in tackles. And... There's speculation whether Blake Martinez will be back because of the ACL and the pay cut. I really wanted Jalen Petre. If Petre fell, I wouldn't even think about Muma or McCreary. McCreary is a uh, man corner. So could he fit Martindale's scheme? Most likely. And I know a lot of people have taken him in their past mock drafts because of the obsession with Martindale and man cornerbacks because of... His blitzing type and how he blitzes the quarterback. So here, it's going to be a tough decision for me. In terms of linebackers, you have Brandon Smith. So there is a chance he does take the fall to 81. In terms of corners, I don't really recognize a lot of names here. But Muma was ranked significantly higher than Roger McCreary. I'm going to take Chad Muma here and hope that we get some decent players at uh, number 81 overall. So Jake Ferguson goes. Tight end's going to definitely be an option in one of these picks. So Roger McCreary goes to Seattle. Okay. I will not accept a trade. So Brandon Smith fell. And that seems like a pretty good pick right here right Christian Watson to be honest with you I already took a wide receiver so I'm not really leaning on taking one again Greg Julchich out of UCLA the tight end that's an option but it's not really my high list <sighs> once again I don't know if I mentioned this before I'll say it again I didn't do a free agency thing so it's a little hard to go back and forth on okay so I select this guy I don't know what the Giants are gonna do free agency linebacker I selected Muma now that I just remembered it. Two linebackers would be great, but the Giants do have a need in the interior offensive line. Greg Dulcich, obviously there as well. Tight end's definitely going to be on my list. Uh, cornerback, yeah, you really don't have a lot of names that pop out at you. So with that being said, I will take Alec Lindstrom at number 81. You know, he was ranked 81. I'll take him 81. So, Brandon Smith, I guess he's going to replace, uh, what's his face? Devondre Campbell. Bonito, maybe replaces Von Miller. Dulcich, replacing Gronk. Sky Moore, another weapon. Justin Ross, maybe he's something. Kyron Williams, two Williams in Denver. Jeremy Ruckert, I guess they need a serious tight end. Okay, so, interesting I take Bailey Zapp. I mean, he's terrible. Anyway, you got a couple of options here. To me, some of these names don't stand out to me. Rashad White, I know he, a lot of people like him. I think there's a lot of running backs you could definitely choose from. I already went linebacker. Um, in terms of offensive line, let's take a look. Because here is where you try to search for depth. Um, and it's not letting me, okay, it's being very slow. 
Cole Strange, I mean, that's going to be later on. Dylan Parham, I don't know why he's seventh round, but that means we're going to get him later on. So I could literally pick him with a sixth round pick, a seventh round pick. Um, but I'm just going by what PFN says. So I'm going to go against what a lot of people have been critiquing a certain guy for, and that's Dave Gettleman. I'm going to take defensive tackle here, obviously, for once again, some reason they don't have, um, you know, a scouting report. Near Farrell. Okay, that's actually, you know, we could wait a little bit. But let's see what tight end has to offer. Let's see what overall offense has to offer, shall we? Chad White, James Cook. We pick next at 147. So you know what? We're going to take Rashad White. We're going to take Rashad White. So we've taken two offensive linemen already. We've taken a linebacker. We've taken an edge. We've taken a running back. So now we got to see. Leo Chanel goes to the Dolphins. Okay, I, I guess so. Um, Jesse Lucetta, another edge for Buffalo. I guess they... Want to fulfill that position. Damian Pierce, I guess he replaces Fournette and uh, what's the other one? Ronald Jones. James Cook, another running back to Pittsburgh? Really? Okay, so here we are, 147. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of names that I don't recognize. Cade Mays from Tennessee, yeah, maybe. Um, I also recognize Charleston Rambo. What I think here. Um, and I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to definitely go this guy or whatever. I definitely think the Giants need safety at some point. Now, once again, this is a blind mock draft, so don't critique me. Don't yell at me because this guy doesn't fit this scheme or whatever. I might go Sterling Weatherford here for the reason that the Giants may need safety. Julian Love, I mean, he could fit the scheme of Martindale, but he's not really a long-term answer as of right now. You're not really betting on that. Uh, Jabril Peppers is not getting re-signed. Logan Ryan's on his way out the door. And Xavier McKinney is really the only guy you have on the long term. So why not draft, you know, a safety? But you also have Alante Taylor. So obviously, once again, they don't have a uh, scouter report there. And I don't think I've picked cornerback yet. So I've picked running back, offensive center, um, linebacker, wide receiver, edge, and offensive tackle. So I've taken two offensive linemen, and I have an idea where I'm going with this. Um, I want to see how safety lines up the rest of the draft. Uh, Bubba Bolden. That's a name. That's that's a name I want to kind of keep an eye on. I think I'm going to go... Oh, let's see, tight end. And our next pick... No, not team needs... Our next pick is at 173. Jelani Woods also as well. So there are a lot of options. We have how many picks to go? We have three picks to go. So very, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, decisions, decisions. I'm going to take what I'm eyeing right now is cornerback, tight end, and at least another offensive lineman. Punter, you could take that in free agency or somewhere else. So I'm looking cornerback or defensive back, offensive line, and what was the other one I said? Offensive line, cornerback, tight end. Okay. Uh, if if so, I think Jelani Woods is gonna be there. So I'm gonna take a cornerback right now. I think Jelani Woods is gonna be there once we get closer to the other picks. And I don't think uh, that's one of that is going to be the last two picks. I'm going to pick them out of order, despite what PFN says that they're not going to be drafted. I think there's a lot of bullshit to be honest with you, because you know I don't think Jelani Woods is you know that late of a pick. Um, and also as well, Marcus Jones is not lasting to the fifth, sixth round. Um, you know, with that being said, as we do have a pick here, by the way. Um, let's see. Dylan Parham, I think he's a third, fourth round pick. So, let's see who's ranked higher. That's the one I'm going to take. And I know, yes, you're doing all by specific player. Now, Parham could potentially turn into a center in the NFL. So, there's that versatility. Luke Fortner, I've heard of him. 
Um, I'm going to take Parham here. I know, yes, that's very selective, you know, being selective about players. But if you have a guy, go and get him, all right? So we have one more pick. I think you guys know what I'm thinking. James Mitchell, I think he's that other tight end, yeah, him and Jelani Woods out of Virginia Tech. Uh, James Mitchell, no. What am I thinking? I was thinking of another tight end that came out of Virginia Tech or something like that. Anyway, um, Jelani Woods, Oklahoma State. I don't know why I thought anything else. This Oconwo guy, he impressed me at the Combine. Now, maybe it was one day and, you know, I saw a couple of different things. Um, but I'm going to go Jelani Woods. I'm going to go Jelani Woods and finish up my draft like that. Um, once again, this is called a blind mock draft. So if you're getting mad at me and, you know, some of the picks I made, listen, I don't have rankings yet. I don't have a full profile on some of these guys yet. Anyway, we could just go to the end of the draft. I got to go fast next time. So this doesn't have to take three hours. We are at about 20 minutes. Okay. If I would have waited till my last pick, I would have picked Abram Smith. For some reason, I like him. For some reason, out of Baylor, I like him. I like a, two of the Baylor guys. Really, three. JT Woods, um, Jalen Petre, and Abram Smith. Those are three guys I would want the Giants to go with. Pile, uh, Pile. Petre knows how to defend the run. He's just an outstanding player. Abram Smith is like a chunkier, but more productive Devontae Booker. So I did recognize one name. Also, uh, Dijon Dixon. That's a name I recognize. Kevin Austin out of Notre Dame. Dustin Crump. Oh! Then you have uh, Aconquo. One other thing is all that bad. Anyway, let me move my... Self. Okay, so here are the picks. I'm going to have it go faster for the PFF one. Um, it's Quanu, it's Karloftis, it's Burks, it's Muma, it's Lindstrom, it's Rashad White, it's Alante Taylor, it's Dylan Parham, it's uh, Jelani Woods. So I would say it's a, it's a pretty decent draft, if you want my honest opinion. The Giants did not fulfill one position on the offensive line. That would be another guard position. But the thing is, though, you know, Dylan Parham is not going to be a starter day one, in my personal opinion. It's that developmental thing. But it also depends on what they do in free agency. Lindstrom could be a day one starter, really developmental center. Uh, Muma would fit probably right in. Karloftis would fit right in. Burks would fit right in. Um, and then, don't really know Alante Taylor too well. Rashad White would probably be day one would probably be in the rotation as well with running backs. I don't think it's going to be a straight one running back, right? Like with Barkley, you know, uh, I think it's going to be Tony Williams. You'll see a couple of different guys. But uh, those are my results, so please uh, let me know in the comments. We are not done yet. We are going to PFF now. So let me just move myself over here for a little bit. I'm obviously going to select a little bit more of a faster pace because I don't want to keep you guys too long. I'm going to pick the Giants here. All right. Let's 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 be realistic. Let's be realistic. Uh, rounds. We go seven rounds. And this is more of a, a board I'm, I'm kind of familiar with. This is more. So let me try to put myself. Um, I, th I think here could be good. All right. Let me shrink myself. All right, so let's start the draft. I'm not going to be doing any major trades, so just keep that in mind. Um, I mean, I could trade back, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. So not a lot of great options here. Not a lot of great options here. And, and I've mentioned it before. I'll say it again. The tackle class is not too great. The tackle class is not too great. So... You could trade back a little bit for Charles Cross. I mean, I don't think he's going to be a problem on the right side. Uh, they have him at five. I wouldn't take him there. Maybe I would trade back a little bit. <sighs> Karloftis or Hamilton? I think they would both succeed in the defense um, for Don Martindale. Karloftis, obviously the Greek. Kyle Hamilton, Notre Dame. 
So there's a lot of decisions to be made. Let's see who's willing to trade back. Yeah, I'm not trading back to 15. I know, obviously, you know, we'll do a fun mock draft next. Um, I'm going to take Hamilton here. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to bite a little bit of it. You know, I know some people won't be happy, but you know what? For me right here, it's so hard not to pick off an, an offensive lineman. So they want 12. The problem is, is that they may get an offensive lineman. And I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, because I won't wait till freaking God knows when to draft an offensive lineman. So we took Hamilton already, which kind of takes the safety linebacker thing off the board, but you can draft depth in the later rounds. Um, let's see. Decisions, decisions, decisions. So they, they want this. Let's try to complete a trade. Um, no, I'm not giving up my picks. Get the hell out of here. Um, let me, let me, let me be a little too... 58% chance of being accepted. This trade will not be accepted. Okay, so let's be as realistic as possible. Uh, 12, 44, 155. I don't think this is... I don't think it's too bad. Let's try this. 18%. Okay, so we got the trade accepted. Um, You're not going to go too far with these trades. You're not going to go, Oh my God, I want this, 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 and this. Because it's, you know they don't match realistically. In terms of PFF, PFN, Draft Network, all these other things, right? You know, but uh, we traded back a little bit. We got some picks, and that's going to be used definitely for depth. So, with that being said, does Linderbaum fall? Yes, he does. So, um, let's see. Karloftis was picked by the Broncos, which kind of makes sense. Which kind of makes sense. Um, I think I'm definitely going Linderbaum here. Now, obviously, you have the options of uh, Devin Lloyd and Nicobe Dean. Uh, but I think the Hamilton pick makes it sort of okay to go after Tyler Linder Linderbaum because the Giants, yes, do they need tackles? Um, and I'm not going to select this guy from Central Michigan. You know, I'm just not doing that. I don't know too much about him, but, you know, that's just not a safe spot for me. Um, but what makes the Linderbaum pick okay is that the fact that you did pick Hamilton, so... Sort of linebacker, safety, he does a lot of good things. He does a lot of good things for your defense. So I'm going to pick Linderbaum here. So it's going rapid because we want this to go rapid. We don't want this to go to super slow. Oh. Oh, these two picks right here. Oh. And the fact that you need an offensive lineman. But, okay, so we do have, um, we do have, we have, okay, so I'm not trading back this far. You could go fuck yourself. Um. Man, I'm picking Pete right here. I'm sorry. He is, and I know, listen, you know, we have Kyle Hamilton already, but man, there is a lot of wide receivers in this draft, and I don't know that I'm going to take another defensive back. Sorry. Knock on the door. Let's take him. So, uh, Jermaine, jo uh, Jermaine Johnson, did he go yet? He went to 15. Okay, so I, I get... I mean, the Combine's probably going to raise that. So can we find another trade-back scenario? We're not trading back with Buffalo that far. Sorry, it's not going to happen. Um, Edge, I don't think is super need. Lewis Sign, Daxton Hill, Drake Jackson, Travis Jones has raised... Has, uh, you know, come up on the draft board. What's the OT tackle? Uh, the offensive tackle clip. Darian Kennard. Absolutely not. I think he's very lazy. Tyler Smith in the in the third round, if he does stay, I would definitely pick him. Like, I'm going to keep that in mind. <sighs> Sky Moore. He was there the last time. He was there the last time. Kinsley Anagabari from South Carolina. Um, I think we I think we can wait to see if there's an edge somewhere else. And it's very possible, guys, that they go out there, you know, in the draft or whatever, wherever they go, um, you know, select a late round defensive end slash outside linebacker. It's also very real that they could go out and get Jerry Hughes or uh, what's the other guy? I'm trying to think of his name. Jerry Hughes and Mario Addison. Right. They may be older, but listen, they're Buffalo guys. They'll probably try to fit the system. 
somehow. Also, uh, Deshaun Elliott, he could be a free agent look for the New York Giants. Uh, they may have one or two linebackers that are available. I'm going to go with Sky Moore here. I mean, you got to go BPA, kind of. And you know what? The Giants need another reliable wide receiver. So we're here now. And there is, boy, there are two edges definitely to look at. Majai Sanders and here's the problem though now did I get a three out of this I did get a three okay so is Tyler Smith off the board because we need offensive dude don't fuck he's taking off the board okay um maybe Rasheed Walker maybe Rasheed Walker I'm, I'm just trying to Max Mitchell that I might reach a little bit for I'm gonna be honest dude because I've heard some very good things about him um are you selected wide receiver I think I'm gonna go my Jay Sanders here I think I'm going to go Majai Sanders. I'm going to look at his stats. I'm not looking at PFF grades or anything. Um, 80.2. Yeah, who gives a shit? Five sacks. Three quarterback hits. I mean, how many games did he play? 14 games. He would like to... I mean, now that I think about it, if he hurry... Okay, so 54 hurries, which is the highest in his career. This is the type of defense event if he fits the system that Don Martindale wants. So, let me think. Didn't select Karloftis. Um, yeah, we're taking my Jay Sanders. All right, let's see. Kyron Williams, Brandon Smith, those guys fucking took Max Mitchell. You stupid Seattle. Um, this is a very tr- uh, real trade back scenario. Uh, I hate the fact that there was absolutely no offensive tackles there. <laughs> hate it. Uh, Neil Farrell. He could be an option. Uh, I already picked. I think we need to start picking offense. Jamari Sawyer, I think he's more of a guard than he is a tackle. They have him listed. So we gave him one sack, gave him one hit and two hurries uh, for Georgia. I think it's definitely a real option here, and I think I actually might take him. Abraham Lucas out of Washington State. No sacks, one hit, eight hurries. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. It seems like, now, once again, this is a blind mock draft. It seems like he's played more tackle. Because I think Sawyer was actually the right guard at Georgia. Um, 12, okay. Um, Let's see, is there a first look here? Needs refinement and pass protection, but he's seen all for pass heavy Cougars. Um, analysis, obviously you have to pay for that. Fuck you, PFF. Uh, first look. Okay, you know what? I think Dylan Parham is going to be there when we pick next. And, okay, Luke Fortner is rising up some boards, so that's definitely an option. We already picked Linderbaum, but hey, listen, you know, adding to the interior is necessarily not a bad idea. Uh, offensive tackle, Sawyer, Lucas... Uh, let's see what Rasheed Walker's doing. Let's see what how his stats play out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Abraham Lucas. As I said, I'm going by the PFF board. This is a, a blind mock draft for a reason. So, here we are. We already picked linebacker. I am really, really, really thinking about going defensive interior here. And I'm not even joking. Not just because Neil Farrell fell... I feel that the Giants really need defensive interior, defensive tackle. Danny Shelton's going to be gone. Uh, Dexter Lawrence is not a long-term guy. You could trade back here, but do you really want to risk the Falcons taking him or any of these teams taking him? Do you really want to risk that? I mean, listen, Joe Shane will probably risk that, but I'm not. I'm going to take Neil Farrell here. So we've taken defensive interior, wide receiver, safety, cornerback, center, tackle okay Nick Cross I've heard some good things about him um so safety and center now here's the thing let's take a look at what offensive line has to offer uh don't know many of these names I know Kramer's name Fortner has been uh popping up draft boards lately that's why I might actually take him um yeah you know what I'll take I'll take Fortner we need to get a tight end. I just realized that. So let's see what the tight ends have to offer. They, they're offering us 166. Um, Cole Turner, Jelani. Now they say out of Virginia. That's why I got it confused because they're saying out of Virginia. Probably out of Virginia. I don't know. I don't see them fucking that up. 
there are a couple of good tight ends that, you know, not totally great, but you can wait on Woods. Uh, I don't know when our next pick is to be quite uh, 171. So you can wait a little bit for a tight end. That's what we're going to go with next. We didn't take a running back yet, which I think I'm eyeing with our last pick. Uh, Nick Cross, Gedeke, Flod. Obviously, we picked the cornerback already. Um, I'm not watching his highlights because that would be copyright, and I, I really don't want that. You know what? Let's take let's take depth. Let's let's go defensive back here. Let's go Nick Cross. And the Giants are up 171. Hordell Volson, I've heard some things about. Tyler Batty's also a nice name. Chris Paul. If there was only that other tackle, Tyler fucking Smith. He was, yeah, he, I think he was taken already. Fuck. Disselis, I think he spent some time at guard, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Stuber. Mm. Let me see guard. Let's see what guard has to offer. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I, yeah, I picked Fortner. Okay, so I didn't totally fuck up there. Um, I think I mentioned I was going to take tight end here. Uh, where, where are we picking next? We're picking at 183. Okay, so we can literally wait this out. 171, 183, 190. Um, and I think that's the rest of our draft. That is the rest of our draft. Okay, so running back, tight end, and maybe something else fit in. So we are right now at 183. We could wait till 190 for a tight end, in my opinion. Let's see what they have at running back. So he was a Quandre Wright. Um, I'm not picking a punter because you could do that. I'm going to Tyler Beatty here. I'm going to Tyler Beatty. Sterling Weatherford, that's a guy I picked in the last draft. Hassan Haskins, I wish I would have thought about, but I'm going to take in two running backs. Um, so I said tight end. I did say tight end. I did say that, yes. Um, Jelani Woods or Cole Turner. Now, they don't have a scouting report. Um... I'm curious to see who they graded better. So they graded Woods, I think, better. Because he's got a 77 and he's got 73. I'm going to take, just for ranks wise, once again, I'm going to take Cole Turner. Here's a pick I can do really anything with. Um, there's not really great off. I mean, yeah, there's not really offensive linemen here. Uh, you can take another center just for the hell of it. You could take a tackle, uh, Cade Mays. I really and I don't really want to do this here. I don't really want to do this, but I'm gonna try to reach for depth because even though I don't know a lot of these names and I. Once again, I'm dragging this. Um, I don't know a lot of these names, yes, but the Giants need depth. Like, you know, they they, they need depth badly. So, um, I'm gonna take. Let's see what DeSellis did, and I'm not gonna reach that far down the board. We go back up. We'll see what Wattenberg. You know what? I'll, I'll take Wattenberg. We'll finish up the draft like that. And that will be the rest of the draft. And then we have one more, and we will get you guys out of here. Analyzing your draft. They don't grade your draft, I think, till after the combine. So you got Hamilton. You got Linderbaum. You got Petre. You got Sky Moore. You got Majai Sanders. You got Abraham Lucas. Neil Farrell. Luke Fortner. Nick Cross. Tyler Beatty. Cole Turner and Luke Wattenberg. So you effectively really have three centers on your roster, but some could turn into guards. I mean, that's just where it is. But um, let's do a new one. Let's have fun with this one, right? We're going to try to trade back as much as possible, but let's start out with the draft. Okay, so you have Iki Okwanu here. I don't think you're going to trade back when you have Iki Okwanu on the board. Now, Karloftis, you have Linderbaum. There's a lot of scenarios you can go here. I'm going to try to do that scenario like I did last time. Try to get as many picks as possible with um, the one trade. So this is 21% chance. Um, let's offer this one. 
Okay, so they did accept it like they did accept the last one. It was a little bit different, though. Let's see if we could trade back a little bit more. Oh, fuck no. I'm not trading back the Rams to 99. You go screw yourselves. Um, I'm going to take... I'm going to stick to my Linderbaum. Obviously, you guys you know, know who Linderbaum is. But I'm going to take Tyler Linderbaum. Washington jumped to get Malik. No, they didn't jump, but they got Malik Willis. Okay, so Jalen Petrie is literally right. This is literally like the last draft, kind of. I'm not going to trade back. Uh, I'm just, I think that, I think I could, we got their second round pick. Yes, we do. So we could trade back with that one if we want. Um, let's see. Any other offensive line? No, no. So I'm picking Petrie. I'm sorry. That's just going to happen. And we didn't even, we picked. Linderbaum, we picked a Quanu, so you literally got two offensive linemen there. Um, you could definitely go linebacker. I think there's more depth as you go. You know, Christian Harris would be a nice addition. I think we have two third. No, we have one third round. No, we have two third round picks. Excuse me, because of 67 and 81, that has nothing to do with the trade we made. I'm picking Sky Moore here. You got to go BPA. So we got to wait a little bit, and now we got 69. So you have a lot of options, edge, linebacker. Uh, I don't know too much about Asamoa. Undersized, 6 foot one but sideline to sideline. Giants really need a sideline to sideline linebacker. I mean, I could give a shit about, oh, is, is great jumped this many? Chad Muma, he led in the nation in tackles. Uh, I'm going to take... Now, once again, this is a blind mock draft. I've done my all my, all my work, but uh, I'm going to take Chad Muma here. I should, I should consider trading back. Let's see what they have here. So, okay, that's that's a possibility. So, we did not take Edge yet. I think my Jay Sanders was picked. Yes, he was, unfortunately. So, I'm going to trade back. As I said, we're going to have fun with this one. Uh, I'm going to trade back. Um, Maybe we do this? No. Okay, it's four percent chance. Listen, we're gonna risk the four percent chance right now. Oh wow, so they did accept. Okay, so we get a couple extra picks. Uh, Justin Ross, eh, not no. Trade back. You want to trade back again? Hey, we're having fun with this one, right? Um, let's trade back again. Seven percent chance. We'll risk that. Okay, the Raiders are being a little bit of a stingy team. Yeah, we'll get their next one. Okay. Let's move back a little bit. See, we got more options. Neil Farrell, Max Mitchell. We already picked the Quanu, though. Um, Neil Farrell. Neil Farrell. That looks like a pick that I should make. Asamo is sideline to sideline, though. That's, that's, that's the thing here. Um... Damian Pierce, Alec Pierce, maybe they're brothers. Um, pick Sky Moore already. We have 86, we have 109, we have 119, we have 124. Alright, let's go. New Farrell. I need to get more guards, but we'll see what happens. Kellen Dyche, Damian Pierce, uh, Luke Fortner. Let's see. Let's see who has better stats. I'm not looking at PFF grade, as I said. One sack, four hurries. Uh, worst game against BYU. If that's the player I'm looking at. No, not Fortin. Okay, Fortner's different. Um, two sacks, two hurries. I'm going to take Fortner. Uh, Calvin Austin. Well, once again, we already got you know. Let's see what tight end has to offer. Let's see what range they have the good tight ends. So they got Ferguson all the way back there. Um, so we could wait a little bit. Dulcich. We could double up on tight ends. So we got Linderbaum, Aquanu, Skymore. Um, what's his fucking face? Linderbaum, Aquanu, Skymore, Chad Muma. Luke Fortner. Jalen Petre, that's number six. So that, that sounds about right. That sounds about right for this uh, Giants draft. So we've had two picks in each round. I think that's a 
That's that would be a fun scenario for the New York Giants. Fun scenario. Um, so you, you could go line here, but you also could go in the defensive backfield. Um, let, let's have fun. See if we could trade back again. Yeah, I don't mind trading back this far. Damian Pierce. Let's look at you know how many yards he got on the ground. For Florida receiving yards. No, five hundred seventy. Maybe he didn't play that much. 574 yards. I'm just not intrigued by that. Maybe. 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 Um, blindly. Let's see what else. I was going to go with Nick Cross. Drum Ford's here. Drum Ford is here. Um, and a lot of you probably going to be pissed off, but let's go Drum Ford. Um, so we got... I gotta freaking write this down. We're gonna write this down, everybody. It's like the 1920s. Uh, I gotta get my index card. Yes, I have index cards here for. It's gonna take just a minute. I know I've kept you guys long, so we've got this freaking shit. Don't even work. Okay. Now, what are the odds that we get a pencil that works? Uh, no. This work? No, of course not. Um, no, of course not. Um, maybe this one works. I think it will. Okay, it works. All right, so we got center times two because we got Fortner. We got Drum Ford. So that's running back. We've got an offensive tackle. We got cornerback. This one doesn't work either. Um, cornerback. Jesus, what are these pens? Oh my God, this is worse than the quarterback class. Um, man, I'm having a such a such a tough time here. One more time. Yes, this will be a part of the bloopers, everybody. Yes, I I, I know that. Maybe this one work. Okay, finally. So we got offensive tackle. We got a cornerback. Um, wide receiver. So we've picked one, two, three, four, five, six times. I think we, I'm missing something. Jerome Ford. Fortner already I got it. Neil Farrell. Neil Farrell. So we got defensive tackle. Um, linebacker. I already covered that. Uh, wide receiver already covered that. Okay, so we got everything. So now I know what to do, and you know, obviously going forward. Uh, Cole Strange, I've heard some good things about. So, um, offensive line won't hurt. The defensive backfield won't hurt. We've got a lot of picks to go. I'm gonna take. Uh, Cole Strange out of Chattanooga. Offensive guard. And maybe I should have gotten a tight end. Maybe, maybe not. Um, Micah McFadden. I've heard some good things. Uh, let's trade back with the Jaguars for the hell of it. Once again, this is a, this is a fun mock draft. Trade will not be accepted. Why don't you go fucking suck a dick? Um... Yeah, screw you, Jaguars. You you got a you got a tanker as a head coach. Um. So I yeah okay screw you then. No, we're not training back with you. Um. So we got center, we got tackle, we got wide receiver. Let's see what tight end has to offer. Maybe I'll reach. Um. Ferguson. We really gonna wait that long for a tight end? Okay. I really don't want to wait that long for a tight end, to be honest with you. Um, let's take Tyler Beatty. Tyler Beatty, running back. And then my next pick is 171. So pray to God that Ferguson is there because that's a tight end I'm hoping to take. Uh, let's take anything else. That really pops out at me. Wide receiver. I mean, Kyle Phillips is also a good wide receiver. Um, let's take Cross out of Maryland. As I said, this is just blind. We're looking for depth right now. 
Um, could trade back if I wanted to. Suck a dick. Um, another defensive interior? Do we really want that? Let's see where the tight ends stack up. Of course Ferguson was taken because 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 PFF clickbaited me. They clickbaited me. Who took him? Who took him? Of course it was the Seahawks because they got nothing better to do. Anyway. Um, Tito Ogbania. Uh, okay, so you, this is literally just anything right now. We have five picks we could do anything with. Let's take another defensive interior times two so we literally have uh, almost a full offensive line filled out theoretically on paper uh we're at 183 right now let's look at tight ends i'm gonna take cole turner so we got tight end to figure it out we have three more picks um can we trade back realistically i mean if we wanted to we could but no um we could take another running back. Why not? Let's draft Hassan Haskins. Saquon Barkley might even be traded. So, linebacker, safety. Trying to think of needs. Guard, say, uh, center, edge. We didn't even take an edge. That's, that's a little embarrassing on my part. But with that being said, that could be easily fulfilled in free agency. Yeah, not a lot of uh, popular fellows here. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to fit it. But, I mean, in a Martindale scheme, in a Martindale system, you're not really looking for an edge, are you now? So, um, as I said, we're having fun with this. Kennedy Brooks, oh, damn, I wanted to, I'm not selecting three running backs. That's absolutely off the table. Um, James Mitchell, not really a lot here. Fuck it, we're taking a punter. I said I wasn't going to do that. Well, now I do that. And then let's finish off the draft with a tight end. So in total, according to my index card, two centers, a linebacker, an offensive tackle, a cornerback, a wide receiver, two defensive tackles, a punter, two tight ends, two running backs, a safety, and an offensive guard. So we got a Quanu. We got Linderbaum, we got Jalen Petre, Sky Moore, Chad Muma, Neil Farrell, Luke Fortner, Jerome Ford, Cole Strange, Tyler Beatty, Nick Cross, Tito Ogbania, Cole Turner, Asan Haskins, Matt Ariza, and James Mitchell. So let me know what mock draft of mine was your favorite. Yes, I know this was a very long video. I didn't expect it to take this long, but you know what? Obviously, you know, certain things take long. But, um... Once again, guys, it's a blind mock draft. I, I don't do too much work in these guys. At least I haven't yet. You know, I'm going to try to get that within the next week or so. Um, so that's why it's called a blind mock draft and not, oh, mock draft 1.0. Uh, look for a mock off season. You know, obviously that's going to be coming soon. Uh, Boys and Bay Apple returns next week. We do have two prominent guests, possibly a third regarding the draft, free agency, a lot of stuff. Uh, Baseball is still not back yet. So, you know, that's the unfortunate part. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for just being a supporter of the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time.